I am live. <laughs> if you are here with me, let me know in the comments. And also, don't forget to give uh, Ecamm Live permission to see your name inside the EPP Society Facebook group if you're watching me from there. I'm going to log in real quick and make sure that everybody can see me. Da, 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 da. One second. My little voice a treat, so don't let me do this live with you guys. Um, let's see. Okay, so I see myself in the EPP Society. If you're watching me on the um, on my Facebook page, also let me know in the comments. I'm gonna give it a few minutes because I know sometimes folks go live and then you don't see that they're live and then let me go on my Facebook page also make sure you can see me ah so how's everybody doing today it's actually been really um weird weather it's getting cold again Let's see so I see myself in the EPP society going on over here so I see hello from Facebook users I don't know who that is let me know who you are hello oops I can say hello properly okay so I see myself on my page this is always a little learning curve so I'm trying multi-streaming, so I'm streaming to both my um, Facebook group and my Facebook page. Oh, hi, Sophia! I see a familiar name. Yay! <laughs> Let's see. Just going to make sure. Let me see if I'm getting emails or messages from folks that have not been able to find the live. We look okay. Looks okay. Yeah. All right. Let's get started. So the reason for today's live is um, got two two points that I want to talk about. Uh, getting a lot of questions about the EPP Advent Calendar. That's just starting in two days. Two days. Ah! Starting December first. So I'm gonna talk a little bit bit about the EPP Advent Calendar and answer questions that I've been getting. And oh. Dang it. See, yeah, that's what Facebook, like, um, you gotta love it and you gotta hate it, right? Both of them. Oh, I see Robin is here. Hello, Robin. So I can see, see how I can see Robin's name because both Robin and Sophia, um, you guys are watching. Well, I'm not really sure if you're out. My dog just pushed me. If you're watching me from the group, I'm thinking you're watching me from the group. And then here we have the Facebook user says, hey, hey back. So like I was saying, we're going to talk about two things today. So the EPP Advent Calendar, which I've been getting a lot of questions about. And then also, hexagons galore. You know, let's do something with all those hexes that we've been basting over the years. And it's just sitting there in boxes, right? And let's see. Let me find my... Oh, here we go. So I'm going to share my page here. So I'll talk about the EPP Advent Calendar first. Hi, Sonia! Yay! Hope you're doing okay! And so I'm going to switch to my screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So we're talking about the EPP Advent Calendar first and then we'll go over the hexagon galore stuff, okay? And so basically what I wanted to cover today is just for all our new -er joiners. Oh, hi, Julie! Yoo Hello! Um, so we have a lot of new folks in the EPP Society, lots of folks new, new to EPP, not familiar with it, and then kind of hearing about this EPP Advent Calendar and a little bit confused about what it is. Basically what it is is 25 blocks, and you get to um, log into the EPP Advent Calendar site on my website, and you open a door like you would on a physical Advent Calendar, right? But instead of getting a chocolate treat, 
or you know what do they do like beer advent calendars wine advent calendars um it's nothing to eat but you actually get a download each day from december 1st through december 25th and all the blocks are six inches and let me see can you see yeah all the blocks are six inches and you can choose from pdf or svg versions and you get coloring pages and block charts and the community, right, which is inside the EPP Society. And then uh, the most common questions I've been getting is fabric requirements. So basically, it, it really depends if you're going to fussy cut or not. So it's really hard to say that you're going to need X amount of fabric and you'll be fine. So what I've always been recommending is a nice fat border bundle that you like. Christmas fabric doesn't have to be. And three to four, you know, solids or blenders or low volume fabrics that you um, that kind of go with your bundle for a cohesive look and then you got enough to work with and if you're gonna fussy cut a fat quarter might be hard if you're fussy cutting but you know I think we can all make it work plus there's a lot of cute um, Christmas fabrics in fat quarter bundles that you can get your hands on right now or maybe you got some over the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales too and uh, for tools, uh, if you opt for the printer version, obviously, you, I mean, PDF version, obviously, you're going to need a printer so you can print those out. And then if you do the SVG version, you would need a um, cutting machine, obviously, right? Like a Cricut, Scanning Cut, or um, Silhouette. And if you don't have a cutting machine, you got the SVG version, maybe you're getting a cutting machine for Christmas. Hint, 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 yes. Uh, and then, oh, of course, you'll need cardstock. My favorite is, is a 65-pound cardstock that's easily um, available from Amazon, Target, Walmart, if you're in the U.S. And I think it's yeah, it's easy to find it um, internationally as well. And then you'll we'll be needing glue sticks, like glue, glue pens or Elmer's washable glue sticks. And then, of course, if you're going to thread base, you will need, you know, all-purpose thread. I like to use um, Guterman polyester thread for thread basting. And, and then we also have needles. Um, I prefer size 11 milliners from uh, Richard and Hemming. And there's also another one. I forgot the name. But they're all linked here. As, as you can see, these are all hyperlinks. So you can just click and look at them. And also love the clover black gold size 10. And for thread, 50 weight Aurifil is really lovely to work with if you prefer, you know, 100% cotton thread. And uh, Superior Thread's bottom line 60 weight is really nice too. It just melts in with your fabrics, but that's a polyester thread. So cotton and polyester. So whatever your preference is. And you can just go to my website to sign up for the PDF or SVG version. So that's it. Uh, if you have any other questions, um, just ask me inside the EPP Society Facebook group or DM me on Instagram. And so the let's jump to the hexagon galore. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments too. Because uh, I know I'm going kind of fast so we can just get into the fun, fun part with the hexagons here. And ooh, Julie got the uh, Art Gallery Christmas Collection. Oh, and your Liberty. Does Liberty have a new Christmas collection this year? Did I miss something? I probably missed a lot. This whole like weekend was full of so many emails and all these amazing sales. I kind of got dizzy. So I'm just going to come back here for one second. See if we have any questions. Ta-da! Here I'm back. Oh, hi, Sasa! Wait. Oh, yeah, you're still up. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, it's really late. No, it's not that late. Yeah. And let's see, let me scroll up, see if you have any questions here today. Why am I talking so fast? Like, I haven't even had coffee with caffeine today yet. I'm just excited. <laughs> oh, Starlin's here. Hi, Starlin. Uh, oh, so Liberty has a small five-piece Christmas collection. Oh, that's a nice one that you could mix a solids in with, right? Julie, what? can you put the link to your shop for us here so we can go... Check it out. Peeky, peeky, peekaboo. Uh, if you could do that for us, that would be awesome. And then let's see. I think I didn't miss, miss anything. Yeah. Uh, 
And Sophia can't see the comments coming in. Oh, boogaroo. I think they're, because they're, can anyone else see the comments? Um, well, so this uh, multi-streaming feature that I'm using right now, it's in beta, so it's not fully fleshed out. Or maybe I didn't turn on a setting where you guys can see the comments. Or I could, I know I could do a, a screen share where you see the comments. Hmm. We'll work on that. We'll figure something out for next time. But, okay, so let's jump into the hexagons, okay? So I'm going to switch the room. Uh, okay, so I see someone's from Kansas City. Hello! Um, if, if I don't see your name here, that means you're watching me from inside the group. And if you look above the video, it says, Give Ecamm Live permission to see your name. Blah, blah, blah. Just click on that link and then after you click, give Ecamm permission and come back, then I'll be able to see your names. And this person says, yes, I can see comments. Ah, so Julie just posted the link to the uh, Liberty Christmas collection that's available in our shop. So make sure to go check it out at intrepidthread.com. Okay, so let me show you the inspiration for where I thought we could take that whole hexagons galore project first. Okay, let me do a little screeny share. So I know if you're in the EPP Society Facebook group, you probably seen this post where I'll do this as an image when we do um, new member introductions, right? So these are diamonds, so obviously not hexagons. But then I thought, you know, uh, it, I know I have a big old honking stash of hexagons that I've been basting over the years with scraps that I have left over from other projects. I mean, if it fits three quarter, half inch, or one inch hexagons, it becomes a hexagon, okay? It, yeah, it just makes sense, right? Plus, we all love hexagons, yes? So instead of using diamonds, and because this is a smaller project, I thought we could go bigger and do hexagons, and that's why, let's scroll on over here, we got this. So this is just a rough mock-up, trying to make it look like this one. You can kind of see some similarities, maybe not. Yes. <laughs> so, but this is the inspiration, this one, and then these are what I was playing with and I don't know if you guys remember I asked inside the group too let me know uh let me know if what favorite what what bleh, I can't talk to it what's your favorite hexagon size inside the group right and folks were giving me everything from quarter to someone I think said even three inch hexagon but I thought that would be a little overkill here it'd be too big so I went up to sizing this up to one and a half starting from a quarter inch hexagon so if you got a little tiny itty bitty i'm sure julie has lots of cute liberty um town of lawn scraps left that she could turn into quarter inch hexagons and that could be made into a little itty bitty mini project like this and the sizes of these projects as you can see these are just all hexagons right and we turn them into diamonds and you can play with these um, the colorways where you could just do solids scrappy you know you could do them uh, in ombre do rainbow like this and or you could even switch the colored diamond hexagon diamonds with the low volume ones and switcheroo and that would get a totally different effect as well so there's lots of possibilities and so then let me go and share my other sheet here oh yeah here we go so basically choose your own hexagon size there is no set size for this so you could do well uh, well the diagrams i have are from quarter inch hexagon up to one and a half inch okay and then the final sizes i'll share this here if you do end up doing the quarter inch hexagons your finished project will be about 19 by 23 inches 19 inch wide by 23 inches high and half inch 25 by 31, three quarter inch 46 by 38, one inch 50 by 61, and the one and a half inch hexagons will be about 75 by 92. So a nice, you know, nice lap size quilt. So there's lots of possibilities for you depending on what you've been making and hoarding from your hexagon stash, right? So basically use your pre-basted hexagons if you have some. I 
what was I ended up digging through my pre based ones and I thought I had way more than I dug up, but there's not enough to make enough of one color each, so I'll probably be digging into my fabric stash too to make some more. And or you could just buy more fabric. Ta da! <laughs> Easy solution! <laughs> oh, and then we have a few more folks that hopped in here. Oh, Irene from Scotland. Oh, we have Irene and Zaza from Scotland. Hello! And then Larray from Minnesota. Hello! I, I hope I pronounced your name right. And oh, so. Oh, Julie wants to do one inch. What? You know, one inch is like. You know, favorite among a lot of folks, right? And Sonia wants to do one and a half. Jen! Hello! And then we have a Facebook user from Australia. Hello, hello! So, <clears throat> excuse me. Alright, so basically, um, this is going to be a super easy, you know, relaxed project that you can do along with us inside the group. And you can either... Um, print and cut your hexagons and I got a freebie with three sizes that you can uh, get here and then oh I should have just said too if you want the link to this document just let me know uh, in the comments and I will message you the link to this document so you have all the links that you can just click to and get to all the important stuff and and also have 19 sizes that you can download um, in my shop and then also, you guys have seen these uh, hexagon punches on Amazon, right? Or in like Joann's or any craft store. So the medium-sized Fiskars hexagon punch makes a half-inch hexagon. The large Fiskars hexagon punch makes a three-quarter inch. And the uh, extra-large Fiskars hexagon punch makes a one-inch hexagon. So if you like to punch away on your... Uh, uh, papers then super easy to just grab these punches and then you can just punch punch to your heart's delight yeah right and then make these as you go so the total number of hexagons that you'll need for this project is 1210 maybe I should not have mentioned that is that a lot 1210 let me let me just you know come on here real quick uh, 1210 hexagons we can do it right we can do it we're EP peers we can do it yes okay let's switch back <laughs> let me switch back to this document let's see so we were saying um, uh, oh or you can also get pre-cut papers if you don't want to cut them you can find them in my shop so, and here are the final sizes again, and I see link, please. Yeah, I'll make sure to send you guys link to this document so you'll have access to it if you put that in the comments. And like I was saying earlier, there's lots of different ways that you can play with the colors. I'll bring this back. You can make it rainbow, make it gradient, going sideways from center out. Oh my god, I really think the possibilities are endless with this. And I just like the fact with hexagons, we can make it in so many different sizes. So I think that'll be super fun. And this is going to be something that we're doing inside the EPP Society Facebook group, which is a free group. So please do come and join us. English Paper Piecing Society on Facebook. I think we're pushing almost 13,000 members in there. So lots of avid English paper pie piecers. And it's not going to be something with like a crazy deadline. Oh, hi, Lucy. Oh, no. It, it's just Facebook. It's not you. Plus, I, I don't know if I posted the links in the with the events tab scheduling Jigama thing, right? I never know what I'm doing. Something's always changing, but I'll, I tried. I tried today. Someone's mad. Wait, what happened? Aw. Uh, Aw. Uh, Ah, Irene, that's okay. Now we know you're not mad. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So, basically, pick your favorite size hexagon. One and a half inch, one inch, one uh, three-quarter inch, half inch, or quarter inch. And I think this could be something really fun that we could do inside the EPP Society Facebook group for, you know, 
sticking together as a community, making something fun for 2023. So it's going to be a low stress, you know, no hard deadlines. But I'm going to try to do a little bit of tutorials inside for us in there since we have, lot, like I was saying, lots of new English paper pieces or lots of new quilters new to uh, English paper piecing so that they can get a head start and start off with hexagons, which is the gateway shape to English paper piecing, right? And so I think that'll be fun. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, oh, Sandra from Nebraska. Holy moly, lots of snow today. Wow, send some this way. Send some to California. And let me see if I missed anything. I think, I think I got all the comments. Yes. Uh, and I know there's a lag, so let me know if you have any questions at all. And if I should keep this up, or did you guys want to see something here? But if you request the link from me, then I can zap it over to you. <laughs> Sonia, you know, I push the angry emoji too sometimes when I want to try to push another emoji and then I go, oh shoot, I get it like deleted somehow real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, thanks Julie for sharing. Um, so Julie says she has to go into her shop and cut fabric. Let's keep her busy. So everything is 25% off today in the shop and even the Liberty Christmas collection. Hot thing. Let's all jump on over. Can never have too many fabrics, right? Bye, Jolly. Have fun cutting fabric. And let's see. Am I missing anything? <gasps> oh, no. Lucy, I didn't know you were expecting snow today. 30 degrees. Yeek. That is freezing cold. I think you're colder than where I am. We still have a little bit of snow on the mountains where I live, but no new snow yet. But yesterday and today, it's been overcast like it's going to rain. Let me switch back to... Uh, face to camera and see if you guys have any question good lord I, I was like going at rapid speed trying to like squeeze I thought it was gonna take me forever to cover this <sighs> so I was like speaking really really fast but I didn't think I had to <laughs> uh, let's see oh yeah it's too cold and then I just see Facebook users. So I'm going to make sure I log into the EPP Society so I can see your comments. So who wanted the link for this? I can send it over to you. And any questions at all? So if you're new to EPP, do not worry. If you don't have um, basted hexagons, like already basted like this, don't worry. We'll do little... Uh, short tutorials inside the EPP Society Facebook group so we can get you all started. Just uh, decide on the si size that you want. And once I send you the link to this document, you can go ahead and download the freebie first. That way you can take a look at what uh, three quarter, I don't know, half inch, three quarter, and one inch. I don't know, there might be more sizes. I don't remember. But I know there's at least three sizes in the freebie download. You can look at that, see what, print it out on just copy paper, see which uh, size that you like and what you kind of want to work with and then you can also look at the final sizes depending on which size hexagon you choose to go with and kind of go from there and that way we can have some fun with hexagons inside the group Starlin yes I can see you and let's see and see yeah I see, I see Sandra so Sandra are you watching from um, the Facebook group or are you watching from my Facebook profile? I don't know. It's supposed to tell me where you're watching me from, but I can't see. So I think there's a glitch going on today, but we'll make it happen. I'll make sure I'll go ahead and double check so I can get you all the link to this document after. Uh... Wait, Starlin, what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm trying to juggle between the comments. I think, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, right? So just decide uh, which size hexagon you want to work with, and then we can just make it from there. Uh, let's see. Ah! 
Uh, Sandra's on Facebook. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you're watching from my profile, then you don't have to give permission to Ecamm. If you're watching from inside a group, then you have to give Ecamm permission. I don't know. Such are the rules. And then, oh, Irene has a really good idea. Really, really should have EPP shape emojis. <laughs> Much nicer than angry ones. You know, they should start something for quilters, right? Quilt block emojis. That would, that would be super fun, I think. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Since I went so fast, let me know if anyone has any questions at all and I can answer them while we are here today. Oh, and if you guys want sneak peeks of last year's uh, EPP Advent Calendar, the 2021 version, go check out the hashtag, uh, hashtag EPP Advent on uh, Instagram. Then you can see last year's blocks. You won't see this year's because no one has seen them yet except for moi. They're still secret. But you can go and ch take a look at what the last ones looked like, last year's looked like, and see if that's something that looks like fun to you. And let's see. Uh, do I make quarter inch? Uh, wait, who's this? Uh, do you make a quarter... Do you make a quarter inch hexagons? Let me know if there's enough interest and we can definitely have those cut and ready for you in the shop so you don't have to cut them by hand. Cause yeah, I know that can be a pain in the butt. And also um, if you have a Cricut machine, then those are fairly easy to cut as well. Um, Starlin, the Intrepid Thread is having 25% off and uh, Julie, my friend, she's the owner of Intrepid Thread and she says she also has a Christmas collection, Liberty collection of six, six prints. I haven't even seen it yet. So as soon as we're off this live, I'm going to go take a peekaboo. <laughs> I still have last year's collection. I've been hoarding it. Shh, don't tell anyone. I've been saving it for a project. Uh, maybe this year is the year where I can just mix in this new set. Uh, and... um. This Facebook user, if you let me know who you are, then I can let reach out to you when they're available. Uh. Oh, Sandra, if you don't use uh, Instagram, if you just Google hashtag EPP, I mean, let me see if that works. I think I think Google should save it uh, on their feed too. I bet they do. You can see images. Let me see. Uh, dang it. I thought you could. I think if it, even if you don't have an Instagram account, can you take a look at hashtags? Does anyone know? Let's see. If I'm not logged in. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Let me get back to you on that. I thought Google would show you. It only shows a few pictures, not a whole lot. What about on Facebook? Let's see if it, since Facebook and Instagram is the one and same company, let's see if they transferred over. You know, sometimes they do things and we don't know what's going on here. Let's see. Uh, there's There's a few on Facebook too. You can just do the search EPP Advent and you'll see those on Facebook and then inside the EPP Society Facebook group you'll see it under the EPP Advent hashtag on Facebook and then let's see, let me see if I miss anything um, I think Julie said everything is 25% off so you don't need a discount code so I would just hop on over there okay bye Lizzie stay warm and I think that's all the questions I've got. And if you guys have questions after watching the replay, let me know um, what, put hashtag replay so I know you're watching the replay. And then just ask me your questions. And throughout the day today, I'll be checking in and sending the folks that want the link to the document that I showed you guys and also answer any questions that you might have. So that's both inside the Facebook group and on my profile. Two spots, right? I think I'm only streaming to two spots. <laughs> I was going to do YouTube too, but then I thought, okay, that's going to get too confusing. Um, oh, yay! You did the last year calendar. Woohoo! Love it. 
Uh, oh, thanks, Kathy. Uh, the 25% discount will show up in your cart. Awesome. Including Tanalon. Yeah. Yeah. Julie carries Tanalon and um, she used to carry Tilda. But I think it's mainly focused on Liberty now. Mm. Oh, someone is going into summer tomorrow as it's December 1st. <gasps> oh, you're ahead of us. So you must be in Australia. Ding, ding. Okay, I think I got all the questions. Yes. Sorry for talking so fast. I was just really, really excited today. It's been a while since we did a live live session. <laughs> and oh, Kathy, I use Tanalon Liberty, and also their lately I've been trying out their quilting cottons. I'm using quilting cottons for the double wedding ring quilt along that we're doing in the EPP club, and they're actually really nice. And I got uh, I made some dilly flowers from the quilting cottons too, and I love them. They're really pretty. And Zaza, you got this bundle too, right? So I think you like it as I don't know. Did you like it or not? Or did you open your bundle yet? See, these are all Liberty quilting cottons. And I think uh, Julie has these this collection as well in her shop. I don't know if they're sold out, but she might still have some. So I would go check out her shop, theintrepidthread.com. And these are all from one collection. All the blues. That's what I'm making my double wedding ring quilt out of. Woohoo! Okay, you are in Australia. Larry, gotta go. Thank you. Hope to see you inside the group and pick your hexes and I'll be posting more about it inside for us as well. Um, let's see. Any other questions? Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. All right. So that's it. <laughs> if I talk too fast, watch the replay on half speed because <laughs> I was going like super fast. But um I will hop on and make sure I get the link to the documents for you folks that requested it. And I will check in on the group and on my page too if you have any questions throughout the day as well. And so now I'll go pick the hexagon size you want to work on. And I'll see you inside the EPP Society Facebook group. And if you're not already in there, make sure to request to join us. All right. And I will see you all later. <laughs>